say, well, oh, of course, it's natural that the W is darkened. And we also call um, these seed mothers, we also call them mothers, rabbi, and they are basically called mothers because they're full of seeds that when they break them open, they, you know, we give it to the world. And so um, it's a very sacred thing. But I noticed, usually we use, a, we use a stick and a rock, and I went outside looking all around here, and there are no rocks. There are no rocks. I got keys. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, but also, Nate had this other idea to smash them together, which feels very violent, but it might work if we just do it. You want me to do the honors? I got somebody that's doing that. Pinata. <laughs> well, it's. I use I use this saw to cut them up. Well, let's let's try and break them. You want a stick? You smash. Yeah. Oh, these are good seeds. They're very good seeds. I mean, you, you never know what you're gonna find inside. We don't eat the seeds, but in Egypt, I understand they do, and they're used for medicine. That, actually, these are a little riper. You have the one in yours. Pull it on again. <laughs> and yeah, you think when you see these gourds, you think that they, you know, that you think they're rotting. You, when you harvest them, they're still green, and you have to put them somewhere dry with some air circulation, and they're going to look like this for a while. They're going to look like they're rotting, but inside. The seeds are just fine. This is what nature intended. And like I said earlier, these um, these come from, oh, I didn't say that to any of you. I said that on your video. These things come from, um, this is a species that originated in Africa, African Bollywood, like an area, a super area. And um, it traveled around the world before people did, before we were able to, to build boats. These things floated to other countries. There's archaeological evidence of bottle gourds on this continent from thousands of years ago. And so there are there are domesticated versions here that are, you know, that are, you know, all of the Indian bottle gourds that you see or um, purple martin um, birdhouse gourds. Those were probably developed here a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago. Um, and this one, this one traveled from Africa to Palestine and became a beloved local heirloom there. Um, but yeah, because they float and they are really quite hard, they can float across the ocean. Yeah, and also we grow them, uh, obviously they're a summer crop, so they create a little shape. So even if you live in the city, a lot of people in, in cities uh, and towns, uh, you'll see that they grow up because like from one or two seeds, you have a, a shaded driveway and you sit and either park your car or drink tea in the summer. And and they really beautify the whole the whole the whole world. <laughs> and uh, so but to eat them because a lot of people who have grown them here didn't know what to do with them. But we harvest them when they're very young, they're very small, like this big, and we peel them and then we core them and stuff them with rice or whatever and cook them. Uh, but also you can saute them, uh, but they really have to be picked very young and, uh, and soft. I think that this whole one, even though it's so big and beautiful, I don't think these seeds are going to be viable. I, I just cracked some open and the kernels look too small. But that one has really good ones, so again, you, know, so you would have thought that that one was going to be better. But it's, again, this was just not on the vine quite long enough. So don't harvest those ones in Princeton yet. Just leave the them issue there. is that <laughs> they're used to, um, by October, for us it's dry. Uh, but here it's really wet. And also they're not used to that much water. So we grew them in the Hudson Valley Sea Company. And in the Hudson Valley we get so much rain. Uh, they went insane. They took over an acre 